Good morning, it's Barbara. This is what the sitting room looks like at the moment. It is not ready, but it's ready enough. The TV is here. We need to set up the Keurig. And I have a bunch of stuff that's still on the table that needs to be processed. But this is the sitting room, and it's looking pretty good. We have to make final decisions about these two pieces here. I don't think they're going to be in here. The couch is going to be tipped a little more, and then this table that's over here is going to be behind the couch. But there you go. There's Aura's recliner. And, yeah, her clock. So a few more things to get out of here today. I'm trying to be gentle on my knee. Yesterday was not a good day for my knee. So this is where we are now. I'm hesitating to bring these things into my room and I'll show you why because my room is looking a little bit like my room, which is too bad. <laughs> The hallway has not improved much. We have not dealt with the books yet. And here is my room. <laughs> looks very familiar, doesn't it? It looks a lot like my other room. <laughs> but what are you going to do? Well, as I said, these... Um, colorful trays turned out that you can only fit one. I used them down there. I piled them. That's got some jewelry stuff. So this is my bookcase. I started with jewelry at the bottom and then jewelry books and then knitting books, technique books. My pom-pom magazines are up there. My Nitty Naughty, my sock blockers, Dennis put my hooks up, and last night I put up all my project bags. <laughs> that corner will be a uh, vlog one of these days, explaining, going through, keep it or frog it. So a couple of these are my art stuff. I'm not ready to deal with them. This pile here, including... These things here are going to be mailed to friends. These are my blocking mats. And I'm not sure where they're going to go. And I have lost my blocking bed, <laughs> which is kind of too bad. So here I'm in the process of figuring things out. This is my table. This is my job for today. And... Um, Get the shelves into that bookshelf and figure out what's going on there. But as you can see, I have room to grow. I do not need any more knitting books, so I'm not probably going to do that. I have my strike here. This is the beautiful color that I want to do my next sweater in. This is from Benta of Arctic Crafts Knits based on the scream. Well, I think she did the color and then her husband said it looks like the scream. So it's called Skrike, which is the scream or the shriek in um, Norwegian. So that is out. Anyway, so processing the desk is my work today. And I have to clear space because I need to mail my advent for Megan, and that's going to take some space and some time because my Megan, my um, advent stuff is in this blue box, in this blue bag, and then my minis are in those bags. So I have some pulling things together and getting it in the mail to do, or I'm going to be in big trouble. So this is not as bad as it looks. <laughs> and I will undoubtedly end up throwing some of this stuff away. And who knows? So anyway.
That's the view out my window. It's a beautiful sunny day. I have sun on my chin, <laughs> but I'm going to go with it. Why not? You can see my, I'll sit this way, then you can see my background. <laughs> By the time I'm done. <laughs> oh, I was like, did I turn that on? By the time I get done, I won't have any sun on my chin. I have to lean over and get my coffee. Good morning. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. There's a little preview. Now, I just cleared a space to put my tripod on my table. And it looks much, much better than it did two minutes ago when I showed you. So this is all possible. <laughs> all possible. See, I have stuff like this. I got a gold watch from my work for my 20 year anniversary and it came in this beautiful box. Now, this box could be wood, probably not, but it's very heavy duty and it's very pretty and it has, you know, a space like for a watch in it. Now, I've pulled, tr pulled and pulled on this. It's pretty sturdy. And I don't know what it looks like on the inside. Probably not as nice. Probably not nice at all as the... Um... Anyway, so I have this box. And it's beautiful. What do I do with it? You know, and every time I see something like this, I'm like, oh, I'll give it to the granddaughters. My daughter-in-law and son are going to be like, mom, stop. It's enough already with that stuff. Dana! Quit giving us your junk. So, it's like I have to figure out how to let some of these things go. I, you know, so this table is my task today. Um, yeah. And a little more organization on the floor front. And if I get very ambitious... I will go to the post office and get, I need one of those priority mailboxes that you play a fat rate, flat rate and you put stuff in it. I have heavy jewelry making stuff to mail. And so that's perfect for that box. And then I need another box to, I'm sending a fleece to my friend, Simona, who will turn it into something beautiful. And that will get it out of my space, and I won't feel guilty about it. <laughs> Not feeling guilty about things is very high priority for me. So, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there's the tour. That's where I am. Today, I am working up here. I will clear my space and maybe be able to clear all the stuff off of the top of that desk in the sitting room because um kim may sleep over there tonight tiger's coming so i don't want tiger in my stuff so that's my motivation so i will be working in here to work enough so that i can bring that oh, excuse me that stuff in and then tiger will not have access to any of my things because I already have yarn loving dogs. Now I have no idea if Tiger's a yarn loving cat, but he is a cat. <laughs> he might have no idea either, but he might find out too. <laughs> so I'm going to, you know, make our lives better by being more, being careful. So I'm going to get the stuff out of there. You, you know, I, I can picture myself clearing this space and then junking it up again <laughs> by moving that stuff in without any idea where I'm going to put it. So there you go. That's the plan for today. Um, we, I went to Aura's other house three times yesterday. I do not plan to go at all today. Kim is picking up Tiger, taking him to get chipped, and then bringing him here. So our plan is to be here. And yeah. That's the plan. So I don't plan to leave today except to walk the dogs. 
and I'm not sure how much I'll participate in that since I bummed up my knee yesterday, which is a drag. So anyway, there you go. That's the plan. Didn't do any crafting yesterday. I think that's going to be my mantra from now on. I mean, I have this. This is so cute. We, we collect salt and pepper shakers. So we got, we got salt and pepper shakers, space ones. So we have a rocket and a little tiny lunch box for the salt and pepper. They're really cute. But they came in this box, and we don't keep them in this box, so I have this box. <laughs> I have these boxes. I collect a lot of boxes that are like, wow, that's cool. Oh, and here's another project. I have a, um, this is that project. This is uh, the socks I was knitting with those flippy flips. Not a fan. Flexi flips. I may be given... I'll probably be just giving those away. But anyway, this is a cute little Bobbins bunny bag for socks, but the zipper broke. Oh, but I can still hang it. It's got a hanging thing. So I can hang it on my... <laughs> it will become part of the show, whatever that show is, whenever I do that. But I'll hang this up. There you go. One more thing, not on my table. And put away where it belongs. All right, I'm going to go. I got work to do. And I'll tell you the truth. I'm really kind of looking forward to it. So this is not terrible work. My knee is bugging me, so I don't have to move very much because my room is much smaller. And, um, but I, I foresee a kind of organized and lovely space in my craft room. And I'm really happy about that. So this has all been a huge amount of work, <laughs> which is not my thing, as you know, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, kids, please, please take good care of yourselves. Please stay safe and stay sane.